So Apex is in a very odd state for much of the community right now. This has led to a lot of frustration and even as far as a hashtag known as no apex august some of the community has come together and they have collectively agreed to not play apex for the whole month of august honestly though this is a trend that i cannot participate in I'll give you my reason on that if you enjoyed today's video go ahead and smash that like button also subscribe if you want to see more content like this lastly i'm streaming on tiktok and twitch so go ahead and check me out there but let's go ahead and get into the video so for the reason why i will not be participating in no apex august is because firstly i don't agree with the cause while yes i can agree that there are plenty of things that need to be fixed in apex apex is not a perfect game but i think the frustration is directed at the wrong place respawn is not the parent company respawn is owned by ea for that reason, not playing Apex for the month of August isn't going to put a dent in EA's pockets enough to make it matter. To put it simply, one month of not playing Apex is not sufficient when you can simply go an entire season without purchasing anything. No collection event, no thematic event, no battle pass, no packs period. If you wanted to really make a dent, simply not spend money. Yes, while I agree not playing the game will lead to you not spending money, it would just be a lot more beneficial to someone's mental health if they enjoy playing Apex to simply just not spend money while also being able to play the game. Secondly, the new season for Apex starts in August. So I don't know about you, but I'm definitely going to be playing that. We'll have a new legend, weapon balances, and I'm sure other content. While I do agree it may not be enough content, it is still further reason for me to continue playing the game. For the third reason, I think a lot of players are really just kind of tired of playing Apex as a whole. The large portion of the community that's been playing this game since day one. And as someone who's switched from Fortnite and from Warzone, I can understand playing a game for such a long period of time. Especially since Apex is not a game that is super content heavy like Fortnite is. That could lead to someone just simply being burnt out of the game and then just taking that frustration out on other facets of the game. In order for a boycott of this caliber to be effective, it would need to be a global kind of EA boycott, meaning to not play any EA games. The problem with this is if other EA games aren't, if their community isn't having these same issues or doesn't share these same sentiment, you're not going to get their support on this. Yes, I do recognize that Apex is one of their larger games, but it doesn't change the fact that people will continue to play the game and still spend their money on cosmetics regardless. What needs to be done is that a message needs to be sent to EA to give Respawn the resources that they actually need. To finish off, as I said earlier, I agree that Apex does have some coding issues that need to be fixed. Me, I would even go as far to say as the weapon loophole also could use some work too. I don't think these are reasons to entirely stop playing Apex, especially if ultimately the goal is for Respawn to fix the game. But to stop playing as a whole just doesn't sit well with me. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.